So we're gonna be talking to this one guy right here. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen, so without further ado, let's get back into this stuff. The man from the religion creating courses said there's someone in here. Let's talk to them. Hello? Anyone there? Shh, don't shout. What do you want? I've put my name down for the, the course of religion, creating religions. The man over there told me to talk to you. Have you got the registration form? No. We'll go get it and leave it on the tray. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to get it. Take that. What does this do? Hey, what? What do I need to do now? You need registration form to sign up for the the course. Leave it in the tray. Hey. How'd you leave it in the tray? Leave it in the tray. Oh gosh, what do I do? I don't know how to leave it in the tray. Oh! I think I know how to do this. There we go. I put the the form in the tray. Okay, let's see. So, Agatha, a young butcher with suit insomnia. You want to create a religion that will help bring customers back to your store and make your animals happy while you cut them up with your knife and they bleed to death. Is that correct? Pretty much. Hmm, an inter interesting case. And well, a challenge, that's for sure. I like it. Okay, let me have a, a think about it. And I put together a list of things we'll need to do to create a religion which fits your needs. I'm not sure how long the planning process will take, so there's no need for you to wait around. You can go home as soon as I've got everything ready, I'll contact you. Oh, one more thing. That's really important. For the moment, don't tell anyone about what we are planning here. If someone get... If, if someone get wind, wind of all this, they won't believe in your religion, and the plan won't be any of be be of any use. <laughs> Sorry. So don't say anything to anyone until I tell you, okay? Okay, but is that it? I don't need to do anything else. Not at the moment. We'll talk when I've, I've thought through all the steps we'll, we'll need to take. Okay. Until then. Bye. I hope this works out. Oh, I had to adjust myself. Anyway, let's go home. 
Achievement unlocked. Let's go home. Hello. What's up, buddy? I think we've met before. Yep. You're Agatha, right? We go to the same school. Yeah, you're the ones that always dance at the break at break time, right? You got it. Always going with the flow. They're wearing strange clothes. That doesn't look like comfortable clothing to dance in. I know, right? We're wearing this because we have to have the first community to communion today. And our moms made her w us wear this. The f what's the first communion? Pfft, it's pretty freaking freaky stuff, buddy. They're going to give us a piece of some guy's body and and some of his blood. Oh gosh, <laughs> I know what this sounds like. And we have to eat it. Pretty disgusting. And why would you have to do that? It's religious festival. It's a way of getting <laughs> getting closer to God or something like that. It's supposed to make you feel happier, I think. I'm not sure I'm not sure I really understand what's all about anyways. Weird. Yeah, it's it's not like we really want to do it, but they told us that if we take the first communion, then we'd <laughs> get a load of presents. And that sounds pretty cool. Presents for taking... Why do they <laughs> give you presents for taking the first communion? I think it's part of the celebration. It's a way to celebrate that we've eaten a piece of a person. Apparently after the celebra a ce celebration will be forever accompanied on inside on the inside by some guy. And he'll guide us through life and help us be happy. But if you go to the toilet, is that the is that guy going to leave? Good point. I haven't, I hadn't thought about it that. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I want the presents. I'm out of here. Hope it all goes well. See ya. I wouldn't be able to do that stuff. Someone opened up that pink bunny. I prefer to cut them open, open real bunnies. That's always the best, isn't it? <laughs> Probably the boy's dad. Let's see what he's asked to say. Hello, hello. What are you doing? Living la vie. <laughs> Living La Vida Loca here in the, the cemetery. What does it look like? But the boy insisted on coming here to talk to the lump of stone. I'd already, I've already told him that it's just a stone and his mom isn't here. But it's like talking to a brick wall. I'm going to ask about the boy. What happened to your son? He's an idiot. <laughs> That's so bad. I've had to move him from school to school like 108 times already because he has problems fitting in. Anyways, you just need to take one look at him. He's a disaster. He said that his wife isn't buried here. Before you called your wife's gravestone a lump of stone, 
and you said that she's not in the ground here? That's because it's true. She's not here. Where is she then? Her soul has moved on to other world. The other world. But I think you're talking about her body, so I'm going to explain. Whew. Sorry, I had to take a big breath. When my wife died, my stupid son just won't stop crying. He spent every day shouting for his mom to come back to him. Even if for one, just one day, so he could save inside one last memory. Eventually, he got so fed up with all the whimpering that instead of burying my wife, I got her corpse. Bought a good axe and dismembered it. Mom? Quiet, stupid. <laughs> Seriously? Did you really cut up your wife? Yes, I cut up her corpse into small pieces and <laughs> put them into a giant saucepan. Didn't he want to have one last memory of his mom to keep inside? But <laughs> what did you do? Made a fantastic soup. Mom, is that you? You made a broth with your wife's corpse? That's right. It came out delicious. And in amazing fluorescent orange. On one hand, that surprises me. But on the other, it makes sense. Hmm. I don't think your son's son likes like the cannibal soup idea, and that's why he's so upset. I just wanted him to stop whining, but it hasn't worked out the way that the way I'd hoped. He's still an idiot, and night all and at night all he does is cry, just like before. You have no idea what it's like to live in this piece of human waste live with this piece of human waste sorry huh hey cut up your wife's corpse and make me a soup with it is an odd thing to do i'm a butcher and i do similar things with animals but i didn't know you could do the same thing with people are you comparing my wife to a dirty pig? Hey, don't say that. I love animals. And I love my wife. And the fact that I made a soup with her remains is neither here nor there. When someone dies, their soul leaves this world. And the only thing left is a lifeless corpse. Oh, really? Of course. Haven't they taught you that in school? Maybe they did, but I find it hard to concentrate in class. I've got insomnia, so I'm always tired. Yeah, okay, I don't need your life story. Wow, you heard me. I love my wife very much. I love her. How come you say it like she's still there? Because she still exists. I just explained it to you. My wife's soul is in a better place. The place where we all go go when we die. And when we when I die of old age or at this rate when I end it all for having to put up with this idiot, I'll reunite with my wife in that new world and we'll live they're happily together forever. And how is that possible? Well, having read lots of the books, I've come to that conclusion. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure. There's nothing to be unsure about. That's just how it is. End of story. Okay. What? Has something happened to your hands? No. I hold them like this because it gives me an 
air of sophistication. It makes things difficult, though, like eating and wiping my ass. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> That's some big words. <laughs> but I manage all right. Let's do something else. Well, take it easy. Yes? Wouldn't want to want this party to end, would we? Let's see what this says. That tome must be special. It's bigger than... I, I meant tomb. That tomb must be special. It's bigger than the others and it has a statue of a winged octopus. Pretty cool. Ooh, I can run! That's so cool. I think I talked to everybody. Okay, now I'm gonna get this candle <laughs> because I didn't get in the f like first episode, so it was like whatever. Okay. Has released the candle. And it looks like it's made of cheese. I'll put it in my bag. Let's go back to I'm board. I want to go home. It's me too. I'm tired of praying. Anyways, let's go. There we have it. That's my last name. Looks like another day without any customers. I hope going to the church was useful and things picked up. Don't worry about it, Mom. I'm, I'm sure things will get better soon. Hmm, whatever you say, Agatha. Agatha. By the way, I'm pretty sure it's time to prepare, prepare our last pig. Can you deal with it? We probably won't sell any of the meat, but at least we will have something else to counter on the counter should anyone come in. Okay, I'll deal with it. Thanks. Oh boy. This isn't the back room. What's going on? I don't know where I am, so let's not touch anything yet. The crystal ball. I'm sure he'll know how I got here. Hello? Hello, Agatha. Welcome. Have we met before? How do you know my name? I know because I am... Sandro, the awesome master of divini... Divinations. Divini... Viniations. I can't say that word. <laughs> to my friends, awesome Sandro. Never heard of you. I'm your mentor. I'm going to help you create your own religion. Ah, so that was you in the little wooden house. Yes. Wow, that was quick. I thought it would take longer for us to meet. Anyway, how did I get here? Where are we? 
This is my control center where I give in death pers person personalized advice. This is where where I receive and orient all my orientate all my of all of my students. Given that you don't have a telephone number or e an email, they told me to get in touch with you with special need using special means. So I teleported you here. You teleported me here? And how did you do that? Are you a magician too? I already told you. I'm... Sandro, the awesome master of divinations. Yeah, I got that, but what does that mean? Are you a magician or not? Pretty much. In addition, in addition to being an expert in teleportation, I can tell the future. My specialties are ter tar tenacious, tar turn tenacious. I can't say that word. Burpination. Burp I'm not gonna even read that. <laughs> and all of the other divinations. <laughs> that you could ever think of. I'm a master of divinations because I am awesome Sandro. Yeah, I've got it. But what are these divinations? They're metaphysical techniques to magi magical arts that are used to see the future. Ah. And what has that got to do with religion? A great deal, because just like religion, magic is based off on faith. In the end, all that matters is that people believe in it. But don't you worry, you just need to trust me. Let's get to work on carnivorism. That's why you're here after all. Carnivorism? Yes, carnivorism. That will be your name of your religion. Given that you like to eat meat, you're a butcher, and that your problems are related to those things. I thought that carnivorism would be an ideal name for your religion. What do you think? Hmm, sounds good. And what does carnivorism involve? Well, all religions are based on a perfect lie, which is able to transform fear into faith. One big breath, or I have to burp or something. Nah, let's just continue. You will develop each of the necessary components to create a perfect lie. That perfect lie. Yeah, I knew it was a burp. <laughs> Me? But you're going to help me, aren't you? Yes, of course. I will give you guidance whenever you need it. That's why I have my fabulous deck of cards. What do you need the deck of cards for? I know I ask a lot of questions, but it's because there are a lot of things about the religion and faith that I don't understand yet. Don't worry. As we progress through the course, you'll become an expert an expert <laughs> nice returning to the subject at hand when you don't do when you want when when you know what to do obtain the component you're searching for let me know and we'll see what the card says cards say <laughs> sorry the cards will show us something that will help us move forward. For example, the first thing carnivorism needs is a god. And before you ask, a god is a superior, imaginary, powerful being. A god is one of the, is the one in charge of a religion, so we need one. Once we have a god, the followers of carnivorism will do what he says. 
Although, in reality, it will be what you you say, but we can worry about that later. Er, okay. And where can I find a god? It's precisely that reason that we have the cards. We'll show up, they'll show us the way. Let's see what they say. Magical cards? Okay, we've got the dagger, the blood, and the drunk. And what does that mean? It means that it will be necessary to find the blood of an animal. I don't think that will be, t be difficult. Excellent. Take this bottle. Fill it with animal blood and bring it back to me. With the blood, we'll be able to create the god of carnivorism. Won't we need anything else? With just blood, we'll be able to create a god? You just worry about bringing me the bottle full of blood, you'll, you'll see. Okay, but can you send me back to the butchers? Sure, if you leave through the door, you'll go there directly. I'll take the I'll take care of bringing you back once you've got the animal blood. Okay, see you soon, I guess. See you soon. Okay. We're back to the butchers. Whoa, it worked. I'm back at the butchers. Amazing. Poor Piggy. But I want to kill you. What does this do? To small piggy bank first. What does it do? That's where I put my money my mom gives me for working here. I've told her that she doesn't need to pay me, but it makes her feel happier, so so I just fake take it. Okay. Need that? You look so sad. But before we do this, I'd like to say we're ending it here. Oh, finally, Fizzle. You finally ended it at like almost 30 minutes. Well, anyways, guys and girls, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, safe sailing and have a great day. Bye. Oops, press the wrong button. Well, anyways, guys and gals, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys, hopefully tomorrow, and yeah, as always, safe sailing, and have a great day. Bye!